I wasn't set out to be a glass blower at all. That's the funny thing about life is I would have never thought I'd be here. It was just one of those things that kind of naturally happened and I'm stoked, you know. I'm super lucky to be where I'm at selling art. You know, I sell art for a living. I get to make art for a living. It's an old cliche, but you have to do what you love and love what you do. <laughs> I think at the core of any organization's success is trust. For me to be accredited means I'm doing a good job. It also helps me to look like a professional. And that's really important in this business because people sometimes, when they first hear about it, they don't think of it as a professional business. They think of it as somebody with a few goats that's just going to go drop them off and drive away and leave them. And that's not what we do. My grandfather, he would always give people product. My grandfather would say, don't worry, it'll come back. Like he said, it, it comes back, you know. It, you don't know when it's gonna come back, but it does, and it's, it's true. I believe it. We just take good care of them. <laughs> we just take good care of them. I don't think there's a secret sauce. It's just standing behind what you believe in and making sure that you're doing the right thing. I've learned a lot from my father in terms of, you know, small businesses being the backbone of America. The Better Business Bureau, to me, has always been a symbol of trust. Being part of the BBB was one step of many to hold ourselves accountable. To me, it's all about making sure whoever comes in here walks out of here smiling and happy and feel like they've gotten taken care of. No one gave me anything. I worked for everything I've ever had. So I feel like that's made me that much more successful because I, I had to work for everything. Mm -hmm.